Hello everybody, Marina here for an, another video. This one is going to be a tag. I've been tagged by Tefato from A Time to Share Book. So let's get into it. Uh, who slash what got you into booktube? Like the answer to this question is always the same because basically Didi got me into booktube not into YouTube. I was doing YouTube long before, but she harassed me all the way back to YouTube to join the booktube community because we used to talk about books and, and she was like, you can come back on YouTube even if you don't want to go on with your hair journey. Let's talk about books because you read them. You love them. When I say she harassed me back, it's because it took her five years. She never, she didn't give up. <laughs> she was like, every occasion she had, every chance she had, she asked me the question, like, when are you coming back? Girl, you should join booktube. And one day I was like, maybe she's right. I should go there and do my thing. So yeah, here I am on booktube. How did you choose the, your channel name? My channel name is my blog name. That's it. Who are the first friends you made on booktube? I would say Didi. But then again, I have many many people who are still following me and we are still exchanging here who followed me when I was doing my hair journey and we were discussing books also. So though they are not really booktubers, they were there for me uh, from the beginning. So I don't really remember. Why do you love reading books? That's question number four. Why do you love reading books? Because, you know, it's easier to gossip on somebody's fictional life. I, I've said that already, but I read books because the gossip is better. It's more interesting than your everyday life. But I also read because I, I am looking forward to finding more information. I want to know more about the black experience, meaning slavery, colonization, apartheid imperialism, all the things. I want to know much more about it. And also feminism in Africa or feminism in the black community to see what all these women went through. When you read about uh, slavery or when you read, you read about um, apartheid, the heroes are male heroes. Uh, where black women are barely celebrated. Whereas when you read certain books, you realize that these black women were the spine, you know, the strength of those fight, they were doing things, but nobody took the time out to recognize them or to cite their names and to praise them for what they did during those times of struggle or what they're still doing because you were still struggling, sadly. So yeah, I read for that reason. I read to say their name out loud, to recognize them and to talk about what they did it is important because if we start doing it, there will have there will be a kind of continuity. People will keep talking about these women and people will start recognizing their work and acknowledging them for what they did and for what they're doing. But if we don't, then we will let the winner in general tell us who we shall praise, who we shall recognize as a strong person, as a hero, as a strong woman, and they can systematically exclude us. So I read also because of that. I read because when I was younger, I felt like I didn't exist in the books I was reading. That's one of the reasons why I read. We read for different reasons, but that's one of the, my main reasons. And also because when you're having conversation with people, you don't want them to keep schooling you and telling you all a bunch of lies that they held as the truth. And they're not even trying to lie to you. They tell you that with much confidence because the books that they read tell them that and they, they believe that. So I come with my own research and I find all the answer, all the possibility, all the points of view, other stories different from the one that we hear in the mainstream. And that's what I'm interested in. That's why I read. Okay. What is your favorite way to film? A video. Oh. I don't have, I mean, 
I love filming videos when I feel good, when I'm in a mood, when I'm, I'm not feeling too blue or too sad because I know that it shows. People always tell me that uh, whatever it is that uh, I feel, they can see, those who know me actually, they can see it in my face, that um, I am like an open book to those who really, really know me. So I, I feel like if I'm sad, if I'm sad, sorry, and I come on booktube, you might see it. If I'm not feeling well, I don't wanna come here and share my sorrow, my sadness, my despair or whatever. I come here when I feel good. Even when a book put me in that desperate kind of mood or in that uh, sadness, I don't wanna talk about the book stray. I take time to calm down or to analyze or sometimes to question, why did this book make me feel this way? Um, so I can film a, a good video because if I just give it to you as I am getting out of a book, I might say things that maybe a week after I might regret and I'll be like, mm, I should do another video talking about the same book. That would be too much. Like who will come to my channel to just hear me talk about the same book again and again. So yeah, the best videos will to me are the ones that I make a week after I have read a book because I give it time to sit in me. I digest the information. What was your first collab and who was it with? I would say that my first collaboration as far as YouTube is concerned is of course, Didi from Brown Girl Reading. First, she was she, the thing that you should know is that every February, it's been what, four years or maybe five years, she always, hold an event for the um, Black History Month, whether it is a read along or it is a discussion or what else, what does she do? or an invitation on Instagram to share whatever it is that you wanna share related to the Black History Month. She always does something. So my first collaboration was her inviting me to join the Black YouTube talk, or maybe it was her tagging me to do the hashtag um, read solid video. I'm going to link it up somewhere. So yeah, I do a lot of collaboration with Didi and I haven't done any with anybody else on Booktube yet. The best is yet to come. Let's put it that way. What keeps you going with Booktube? Oh, curiosity and the desire to di discover even more. Like, Booktube is kind of damaging my ignorance because I hear about things that I've never heard of before. I discover writers and I hear many different voices dealing with many different subjects related to uh, sometimes one theme in particular, but then I'm surprised to, to see that this thing also happened in that country so far away from my country of birth. I thought that those, those things happened in Italy uniquely in my country, but then somebody else comes and talk about a story, a book, an event that took place elsewhere, and they are dealing with the same theme. And I'm like, wow, I should stick to booktube for me to deeply damage my ignorance, like kind of really open my eyes on something new, something great. Um, how do you respond to hate messages or hate comments? Darling, I block them. I don't answer. I don't take the time. I don't, I, I, I don't have time for negativity. Life is already tough. You have so many negativity when you watch the news. So I don't need somebody who's not respecting their mama to come and talk to me as if I was a friend of them or to be disrespectful towards somebody who's my follower or somebody who said something. We may agree to disagree, respectfully if you cannot do that if you cannot respect the people you find on my channel i put you out i'm not looking for followers who will call me by names or will call my follower by names too bad to be mentioned here no i don't want somebody to come with all their negativity and you know like unload their load on my on my channel mm -mm, mm -mm, i ain't got no time for that bullshit i'm gonna block you because YouTube allows me to block certain comments, to block certain people. I'm going to block you. I don't need you. And most of the time, those people are not even your subbies, right? You're not subscribed to my channel and then you come and you want to leave all your dirt in here. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. 
If you don't like your mama, if your mama didn't raise you better than that, that's a problem. If you're going to disrespect somebody, go disrespect your mama. I'm nobody's mama, so I'm not taking anybody's mess. You don't come here for that. No, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I erase you. I block you. Bye-bye. Don't even come back. You don't have to watch my videos, but you, you, you definitely don't have to disrespect me or my followers. You can have your opinion. Express yourself respectfully and I will leave it there. But if you start using birds' names and stuff like that, bye-bye. That's what I do. I ain't got no time for that. I ain't got no time for that. Mm -mm. You can do whatever you please, but don't dare. Don't dare do that and expect me to be coming for you. Ah, no, 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 no. I keep my energy for everyday, <laughs> everyday event and I need that energy to fight on a daily basis. Didn't I say I was a black woman? Dark skin, black woman? I have to fight on a daily basis. But I don't fight for that. Who is your favorite author and book series? There can be more than one. I don't know. To be honest, I have storytellers that I systematically go to when I'm feeling down, when I have a, a reading slump. Because I know that those people will get me out of my slump. Or they will do something or serve me something that would make motivate me anew. And among them, you have, of course, Bushi Emesheta, Flora Nwapa, Bernie Sel McFadden, Edwish Dentica. But Edwish Dentica, it's particular because even when I want to read her, I always want to make sure I, that I am ready because she's the kind of person who goes straight to the goal. She call each beast by its name. She doesn't beat around the bush. So she is particular. <laughs> she just like Morrison, Toni Morrison. Those are not the, the type of writer that you go to when you're feeling depressed, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling blue. No, but yeah, I love reading from those women and I love reading Babangungi Wathiongo, of course. And lately, I've discovered this British Nigerian playwright by the name of Inwa Elams. And I swear to God, I'm going to read everything, every play he ever published, I'm going to read. Because it makes me feel good. Just that. So I don't have favorite author per se. There are people that I read constantly. Any advice for other that uh, are on BookTube? Use this as a chance to speak up about you as a person in the community. Me as a person in a community, oh, I am nobody yet. I'm not a, I'm not an influencer. I'm not, uh, a, it's not a big channel. But what I'm trying to do is talk about the literature that I love. Talk about the, the storytellers the, who makes me feel good and make people discover Africa and the Afro community. Not through the cliches that we always see or we always hear about. So my, my place in the community is to make you discover, if possible, more about the diversity in black storytelling, okay? The only advice I will give to somebody who is coming on BookTube is come as you are, be yourself. Don't follow the hype. Be yourself because the danger is when you come on BookTube, you try to do what everybody else is doing. You try to read what you see all over the place. And at the end of the day, you're, you become unsatisfied and you end up in a really big slump and you don't understand why. The reason is simple. You're not doing what you want to do. You are doing what you think would please to others. Even if you only have two subscribers who follow you for what you do, then be faithful to yourself. Read the books you love. Talk about the books that you are interested in. Be honest in your reviews. Just because everybody loved the book doesn't mean that you are going to love it. You may read it and just hate it. And you come here and tell people why you hated the book. That's it. Your money, your time, your opinion. Stand for that. Stand for your opinion. Stand for your money. Stand for your time. Stand for your comprehension. You don't have the same past as everybody. We come here with all our history attached to our back, with all our, uh, our past. So I may read a book that I like. I recommend it. You read it and you hate it. It's fine by me. I don't take it personal. Voila. That's it for today. See you in my next video. And once again, thank you, Sefato, for tagging me. 
Bye-bye.